In this video, we will show you how to fix enable to activate iPhone error. Fix 1. Try taking out the SIM card and inserting it again carefully. Fix 2. Go to Settings, choose General Settings, reset all network information, and input the correct network settings. Fix 3. Check if your phone is locked first. If it is locked, you should unlock it first by contacting your carrier. Fix 4. Ensure iPhone is connected to a stable network before you try to activate your iPhone again. Fix 5. Check if the activation lock is still on. To solve this problem, you should use the Apple username and password that were used on the device. Fix 6. Use iTunes to uninstall iOS updates. It is possible that your iPhone is unable to activate since an iOS update is required. Here is how to install iOS updates using iTunes. Step 1. Download and install iTunes on your personal computer. Switch off the iPhone and connect your device to the computer using a USB cable and turn on the device. Step 2. Once iTunes detects the iPhone, it will prompt you to follow the activation process. Follow the guides that are available on the screen. Optionally, you may also click on the Activate Your iPhone button on the left side of your iPhone's interface. Step 3. To complete the activation process, proceed and log in using your Apple ID and then click on Continue. Fix 7. If you have tried other fixes and they are not working, you can force restart your iPhone. Fix 8. Use the iOS system recovery tool to bypass enable to activate an iPhone. Step 1. Begin by downloading, installing, and launching the program on your computer. After installing the application, the main interface of the software will appear on your computer's screen. Select iOS system recovery and continue to the next step. Step 2. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to the computer. On your iOS device, a pop-up asking you if you can trust the computer will appear. Tap on the trust option and click on the confirm button. Step 3. Choose a repair mode among the available modes, advanced mode and standard mode. Step 4. Click the confirm button to verify the chosen mode. Then click the repair button for the program to start fixing the device. Once done, you can activate your iPhone normally.